first time mom, I got all kinds of advice on what kind of exercise you can and can't do. Running, yoga, swimming, what's okay to do and what do we need to worry about with the calories? I mean, you're getting big anyway, right? The thing is to take your prenatal vitamins, yes. especially in the first trimester, if I understand correctly. My daughter was born actually on Christmas and I oh, had to wow. get through the flu season when I was pregnant. And I was very concerned about getting the flu shot. People were telling me, do it, don't do it. Talked to my doctor and was actually surprisingly told, yes, you should get a flu shot. Is that right, Dr. Pius? So first of all, I think the correct term is get jiggy with it, not wiggy with it. <laughs> well, I was, I was trying to be politically correct, but... I'm just saying, Jeff. <laughs> um, you know, that's a fantastic question, and I think people ask that all the time with the assumption that, of course, physicians are not as jiggy as they should be. And I think that's a bit of a misnomer. So in my practice, I work with medical students, with residents, with uh, physicians, just like members of this audience who wear hoodies in their personal life. And, you know, they use their devices for everything, right? They use it for everything in medical education. They use it in their personal life, whether they're going to the club, they're going to a bar, whatever they might be doing. And so when they come into my office and we're going to go see a patient together, they always say to me, well, Dr. Nair, what about this? And what about that? And they're actually showing me some of the coolest technologies that are out there and forcing me to actually learn um, in a very different way than I'm used to as an attending. But that said, I don't actually think that's even the question, because for me, as a teacher, right, as someone who's teaching the next generation of physicians, I want them to be excellent doctors. I don't actually care whether they use technology or not. I happen to think technology is a fantastic tool, and it will help them be a good doctor and help them be a good patient um, and, and take care of their patients tomorrow. But I don't actually think it's about how do we get doctors to use the technology. It's the end question of, how do we get the technology to actually think and work in a way that physicians will like it, it fits their workflow, and oh, by the way, it doesn't actually interfere in the conversations we have with our patients. The medicine part is actually easier. It's easier for me to make a diagnosis for a patient. It's easier for me to figure out their treatment plan. Thank you. The banking industry went through something very similar a long time ago. A long time ago, a lot of us couldn't even imagine having our financial information on the internet, let alone on a mobile device. And now, so many people use the internet for both accessing their financial information as well as paying bills. And I think healthcare is really going through that right now, and, and in the future, we really won't think twice about being able to access our medical records or our lab information or imaging information on a mobile device or even through the internet. We're all patients. When we talk about healthcare, it's not just about the provider, it's not just about the payer. This is very much about patient-centric centric care and really also having technology tools that make an empowered patient more possible. And so the opportunity that we have with the technologies that we're looking at today are to say, let's make this a video visit. Let me actually see that rash. What we're saying is let's bring devices like these into the examining room and really extend the human touch. Not replace it, but extend it. In over-the-counter medicines can sometimes get complicated because, again, for, for expecting moms, you get really anxious about what's the right medication, what, you know, what can pass through the baby and what can't. What's your advice on the right over-the-counter medications to take if you should get sick or if you have any you know, issues during pregnancy? So again, I know your back hurts, your feet hurt. A lot of people will give you a gift of a pregnancy massage. What is a pregnancy massage? When can you do it? When to do not? What's, what's the situation there? Pregnant, pregnant. Of course, if you're pregnant, make sure you're asking your questions to your own top-line MD doctor. I'm Dr. Geetha Nair.